What's going on everybody, it's Hobie the Hubbo, and today I'm going to teach you about IV breeding. Now before we start, I might as well explain what are IVs. Well, IVs stand for individual values, I for individual, and V for values. So each Pokemon will have their own unique set of six IVs. And the reason they have six is because there is one IV for each specific stat here. So IVs will range from the number zero, all the way to the number 31. Zero meaning that is the worst possible amount for that stat your Pokemon can have, while 31 means that is the best possible amount your Pokemon could have for that stat. So if you want a perfect IV Pokemon, ideally you're going to want a Pokemon with 5 or 6 IVs that equal 31. But as you see here, this drill bar doesn't really have the most impressive IVs. And let's look at its partner. Does it have better IVs? Yes, but again, they're still not impressive. Only speed is impressive. So I'm going to teach you how to properly IV breed. So what do you need to do? Okay, first, catch two Pokemon that you're going to breed together. Ideally, you're going to want them to be the same species, so you can have them breed over and over and over. Because the method I like to use is going to be a lot of switching and replacing of parents. So both of these drillers, I caught them from the wild, threw them in the daycare, and I had them breed over and over and over. And if you want proof of that, well... Yeah, look at this box right here. So after breeding for, I don't know, about half an hour, they produce this drill bar right here. Would you look at that? This drill bar has one perfect IV stat. Now because of that, this drill bar is actually better than the current mother. So what are you going to want to do? Switch out the current mother for this new and better mother. And again, you have him breed over and over and over until you get a parent that is better. Uh, not a parent, until you get a child that is better than the current parent. This time I got a male. No perfect IVs here, but look, you have two IVs that are dirty. That is a lot better than the current male parent, so of course I'm going to switch that out. Now let's say if you could argue that both parents are equal in IVs. For example, oops, wrong drober. For example, let's say I got another female, but the perfect IV was an entirely different stat. Would I switch out the current mother for it? Or would I keep the current mother in? Because it also has one perfect stat. In this case, it's up to you. Would you rather have, in my case, for example, would I rather have HP or special defense? I would rather have HP, so I throw away the other, other drill bar to the side. But if you would rather have the new stat that has a perfect IV in it, go ahead and replace it. So again, I'm gonna have these two breed over and over and over. And finally, I got a male that has a perfect IV stat in attack. So of course I'm going to switch this male out because this new male has better stats. So hopefully these two Pokemon with two unique perfect stats, hopefully they'll produce a Pokemon that has a total of two perfect stats. And would you look at it, I did get just that. Perfect IVs in, th in attack and HP. Again, this is better than the current mother, so I'm going to switch out. And then ideally next I would get a male with two perfect IVs. I would switch this male out for that male. And then maybe I'd get a female with three perfect IVs. Switch that female for this female. And the cycle keeps going until you have five perfect IVs or six perfect IVs if you're really patient. Now tips for IV breeding. Uh, this method does not need the Dusty Knot, but the Dusty Knot does help. Because what the Dusty Knot does is that it will make a combination of already existing IVs with the current parents, meaning your IVs are not going to be entirely random. If you had, let's say, a parent with one perfect IV and another parent with a different perfect IV, you're guaranteed, well not guaranteed, but you'll have a much higher chance of making a child that has those two perfect IVs combined. However, I would not recommend using the dusting nesting on until you get parents with three perfect IVs, and preferably if they were in different stats so you have the possibility of, the, of those IVs spreading in different stats. But that's pretty much just my guide to IV breeding. Of course, I'm going to leave a written description in the description if, if it was confusing to you. Thank you all for watching, and see you all in the next video.